Hi, 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 uh, hello, 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 hi. I have a question for you. Do you get haters and negative comments on your Facebook or other social media that you are using? And I know it hurts, it can really, really, really hurt and you take it personally. I know I've been there a few times, but what I want to say, and it might sound, sound, uh, sound odd, and that is congratulations if you have these haters and negative comments coming in. It's a good sign that you are moving on with something that's very important to you. And it touches people's hearts, mostly in a good way. People are like it, they like you, they like what you're saying, but you also will, will get the opposite reaction from people and this is called this is based on something it's called it's a theory called the magnet theory and i heard about it quite recently i didn't know about this one but it makes sense to me i don't know if it's scientifically researched or anything but it helps me to deal with this so yes um so, so as i said so, oh yes first of all i'm going to say my name is kim bartlett helping you as a network marketer to bring your business online so you get more uh, prospects and leads into your business to get the results you've been striving for probably for a long time. So anyway, what are you going to do with this? So this is the, the, the magnet theory and knowing this theory and now what you're going to do with it. First of all, I want to mention to you or, or, or share with you the three reasons why people are doing this. I mean, it probably more reasons than that, but those, these are the reasons that make sense to me. And the number one reason could be competition. There are actually competitions out there and they see you as the number one competition and they want to tear you down and push you down so they're going to stand higher up. Uh, so that, that's how it seems to work for people. My suggestion is you don't compete. Don't go into that game to compete with other people. I know it's very easy to do. So you compete and you compare yourself with other people. Don't, 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 don't. You are exactly where you are and you're moving on in your way, in the way you need to do. So competition. The second one is people don't actually don't agree with what you're doing, working in a network marketing business. And I'm sure this is the biggest one out there for, for most of us working in this industry. So they don't agree with it and they have to tell you and tell the world they don't agree with it. I call this, I love this, I call it, it's an uneducated opinion. I haven't even asked for it. I haven't even asked for their opinion, but they need for some reason to tell that they don't, they, they, that they think it's a pyramid scam, spam or whatever it is. So you can hear in my voice what I think about that, but waste of time, that's what I want to say, <laughs> totally waste of time. So, and the third one is also, is quite touching if you think about it. These are people who are admiring and envy you for what you're doing. You're standing up for yourself. You're building your business. You're doing what they would love to do, but they didn't have the guts to do or haven't got the guts to do. So what do they do? They go out there and make comments, uh, trying to tear you down or um, maybe not always, but they are upset about that. You are going towards success, but they are not because they, yeah, they choose actually choose not to. So what are you going to do with this now? Now you got these comments in or a comment at the time. Actually, I need to, uh, uh, not need, I want to share with you the very first time when I put up an advert in Facebook, uh, I, it was so typical uh, for me. So I've been a bit sort of excited about it. So I worked on this advert in this, what I'm doing, working my business online now. So I learned how to set up an advert on my fan page and I was proud of myself and I posted it, I launched it. And then I got a message in face in my email saying, you got a message in Facebook. And I was like, yay, <laughs> someone made a comment. And I went in and I was like, oh my God, not another one of these pyramid scam spam or whatever this dude said. <laughs> and it really hit me. It was like, oh no, I'm not supposed to do this. I can't do this. Oh gosh, it was horrible for a couple of days. I absolutely. I was like, I probably, I'm not going to do this. I can't do this, but I knew somewhere I was going to go, go do it anyway. But what I did with him, I deleted and I, and of course I deleted and, and blocked him. But it also made me think that I have for a long time, for a long time uh, in my life as well, as well as in my business, being afraid what people are going to think 
what are they going to say about me uh, uh, and they're not going to like me the biggest thing was I w wanted to be liked for everybody's going to like me so I lived my life like I don't know like um, in the middle somewhere walking around being sort of careful what people if I'm going to you know annoy someone or they're going to say something to me it's like but no way I have to stop trying to be liked by everybody it's not going to work it, this is it's a choice so I did choose it's actually a choice either I can choose to continue to to work on that every, or hope for that everybody's going to like me and I behave accordingly holding myself back not expressing myself not working my business or I can choose to don't care about it might be hurt I might feel offended but deal with it when it happens and let it go and continue to move on there is always going to be people out there going to make a comment about you and what you do always so you can expect that do expect that when you work your business online i mean this happens offline as well the traditional marketing obviously that was also why it didn't work for me <laughs> when before i started to work my business online was that i was worried that people are gonna not like me so anyway enough of that now i think you get it about being liked or not but anyway so now you get a comment and someone says something so are you going to delete it or not? Obviously, if it's nasty and it's it's hurtful, I mean, it's like it doesn't help you or anybody. Delete, block, bye-bye. That's an easy. Now, there could be a, a, a comment that someone says, I heard about, it wasn't me, to be honest. It wasn't me. I heard about a colleague. She said, she got a comment that a woman said, I don't agree with working the network marketing business online because I think I believe it's going to destroy the industry because I'm working in a traditional way and I'm, I'm, it's working really, way, really well for me and I'm quite successful and so on. Now, how this woman responded to her, I think is really good. She thought it through first and thought, yeah, I, so my suggestion to you too is come from a friend's point of view, even if you're not their friend, but think from a friend. What are they saying? And how can you respond? So she responded something like, um, I'm glad for you. It's really good to hear it works for you to work the traditional well. And I wish you, I wish you well in the future as well. But for me, it didn't work for years. I never made it work. And, but online, working my business online starts to work really well. Or if you're well ahead, you could say it's going really, really well for me. And then leave the comment there so people can see it is real. This is not always honky-dory. Of course, sometimes people have disagree and stuff. So keep those as well, as long as it's not nasty and hurting you or your business or anybody else. And it shows that yeah, you are there to help and you are respectful towards people who are showing you respect as well. So to summarize, uh, let me see why I had. Yes, remember and respect, sorry, expect that you will get uh, negative comments. And the more successful you are, probably more negative comments, but de deal with them when they arrive. And remember what you are doing. You are there to make a difference in people's life. You are there to make difference in other people's life. And that is, that's enough to, to remember that. So you continue moving and grooving your business forward. And uh, I will see you on Friday. Take care then. Bye-bye.